Hi, my name's Dan Williams. I'm the Associate Director of Statewide Stewardship for Volunteers for Outdoor Colorado. And at VOC, I manage a number of things, including the Outdoor Stewardship Institute training program. In this video, I'm going to give an overview of all the OSI online content that uh, VOC has developed for our Outdoor Stewardship Institute training program since 2017. VOC's official higher ed partner for this program is Colorado Mountain College. All of our online trainings are housed within the Colorado Mountain College base camp system and uh, delivered through the Canvas learning management so software system. Through Colorado Mountain College, these courses are available to anyone that wants to take advantage of them. And we're also planning to continue to work with CMC to integrate the OSI curriculum into their degree programs and training for students in outdoor recreation, outdoor leadership, and uh, ski industry areas within the Colorado Mountain College system. In partnership with Colorado Mountain College, we develop numerous courses and modules that cover different topics. With one exception, all of these courses share unifying design themes and elements that make them feel similar and make them all self-paced and user-friendly. Each course starts with a splash page with the course title and a welcome picture. First thing students come to is a recorded course intro, an introduction to each instructor in the course, and information about who the course is for and what the objectives of the course will be so that students have a clear understanding of what to expect. Once they dive into the content, students find a series of modules which they must progress through individually. Each module covers a different topic related to the overall course objectives. All content is 100% self-paced and can be completed at the student's convenience. Within all of the courses, modules are made up of a mix of four basic elements. Reading in the form of text and diagrams. Recorded PowerPoint lectures. This is module three, and it's about assessing your crew. Videos illustrating practical examples of skills and techniques. The trail you can see going up here, and we want to prevent people from walking on here. And one of the ways you can do that is by transplanting things into the trail so that you're interrupting the, the line that you see, and it looks less like a trail. And finally, quizzes to gauge a student's retention of the key concepts of the course. If students are using the online course towards certification, such as Crew Leadership for Trails, they must receive a minimum grade on all quizzes within the courses that they take. The main jumping off point for our online courses is the online Guide to Crew Leadership. In the Guide to Crew Leadership, Students cover various topics related to assessing the individuals that make up their crew, understanding group dynamics and how to build a strong team, and knowing how to motivate individuals to produce a desired end result in a safe manner. Students cover all of the basic tools used in outdoor stewardship tasks, risk assessment, and basic safety, as well as how to effectively work within agency protocol. When combined with either the online trails overview or online ecological restoration overview and further field training, the guide to crew leadership is the first step in certification as a crew leader for trails or a crew leader for ecological restoration. There are two technical elements that round out crew leader training. The first is the OSI trails overview. This course can be taken on its own to provide general knowledge about trail topics, or it can be combined with the online crew leadership course and further field training, leading to certification as a crew leader for trails. The trails overview covers various topics related to how trails are planned and designed for sustainability, teaches students basic trail anatomy and terminology, and introduces the basics of trail construction, including the OSI developed six-step method, and trail maintenance, including basic corridor, tread, and drainage structure maintenance tasks. The outflow and out, outfall and make sure that you have got the right angle so the water will flow out here.
The second technical track for crew leader training is the Ecological Restoration Overview. Produced in partnership with Wildlands Restoration Volunteers, in this course students cover the fundamentals of restoration ecology and review restoration case studies. Uh, this was a road closure project, so we were going in to restore uh, an area that had been damaged by off-road vehicle use. And the course delivers content on common field practices including seeding, erosion control methods, willow staking, and planting and transplanting. So one thing you might want to do once you've got your plant in the ground like this, since we have a little bit of a slope here, is use some of this loose soil and pull it up to the bottom edge here and build a little bit of a mound or a berm on the lower end of our plant here, just so that any water that falls, any rainfall that's coming down the slope will get caught in this berm and slow down enough to really soak into our plant here. Our fourth module is the only one not housed by Colorado Mountain College and is instead found at VOC's website. The online crew leader resources are a repository of content that OSI certified crew leaders can access once their training is complete. It is free to use and serves as a set of refresher materials on key concepts and points crew leaders who use it to where they can find more info in the materials they received at their field training. It can also be used by prospective crew leader trainees as a way to preview various elements of the course before signing up. The Independent Stewardship for Trails course is an adaptation of Crew Leadership for Trails that prepares volunteers working independently or in small groups on their own time in a trail adopter setting. While it shares some elements with Crew Leader for Trails, including basics of trail maintenance. So it's one of the easiest things that we can do when conducting trail maintenance is to remove the berm and reestablish the critical edge. And tools and safety. It trades crew leadership's heavy focus on group management for skills a trail adopter working in an independent fashion will need to have, including a sharper focus on working within agency protocol, a more robust risk assessment section with a detailed overview of job hazard analysis, and a module on the importance of effective accomplishment reporting. Once trainees complete crew leader training, OSI has multiple advanced courses that can be taken, and we've developed three as online modules. The Rock Skills Overview gives students an overview of the process and practice of dry stone masonry, and how rock sourced in the field can be used to create long-lasting trail structures. Students learn how to safely work with and transport rock in the field, how rock is set without using mortar, in the components and process of constructing rock steps, and rock walls. The Drainage Structures course provides students with an overview of the purpose and installation of water control and diversion structures in the management of trail erosion. Students learn how water interacts with the trail and the importance of positive drainage. Um, the first thing we want to do is analyze the entire section or area that you're going to be working in as to what the water is doing. Looks to us like the water is coming down from up above, flowing down, hitting the berm that's right here and then t consequently taking off and flowing down the trail. They learn the role of various drainage structures and trail maintenance. And how to build and maintain them.
The OSI Project Management course was developed to teach the management of volunteer trail and other outdoor stewardship projects. It's currently the only on-demand course in the OSI catalog, meaning that it can be accessed at any time by interested trainees without needing to be paired with further in-person training. In the course, students learn fundamental steps and best practices for selecting, implementing, and completing volunteer projects, progressing through a step-by-step -step method. Segments of the course also provide access to downloadable forms, templates, and other documents that provide information on best practices, including an interactive worksheet that students who have a specific volunteer project idea in mind can fill out as they go, meaning that they finish the course with a complete project plan in hand.